Well, Joseph, we've had a price range this morning for the forthcoming flotation of TSB, the UK retail bank, and it's a bit lower than people are anticipating. Why is that? Uh, it's, I mean, Lloyd's its parent, which is uh, selling like a quarter stake in TSB, uh, its shares trade at 1.6 times book value, uh, which is pretty punchy for a sector which still struggles to trade at book. Uh, but TSB and the price range you've mentioned, uh, the mid-range of that would value TSB at about 0.8 times book. So there's a really odd divergence here. It is. Is it a very different bank from Lloyd's? No, I, I would argue you know, it's kind of like a, like a slice uh, in terms of composition of balance sheet of uh, Lloyd's. Uh, it has £20 billion in mostly mortgage assets. So again, like Lloyd's, it's primarily a mortgage lender. Um, and £23 billion on the funding side of retail deposits, mostly. So you could argue that that's relatively low risk. I mean, because obviously Lloyd's mortgage book is... Uh, 270 billion pounds of prime mortgages, 50 billion pounds of buy-to-let, so it is slightly funkier, and yet in terms of basic composition, it is quite similar to Lloyd's. So it's a sort of a mini Lloyd's, but but is there any sort of advantage of scale for Lloyd's, or even disadvantage of lack of scale for for TSB? Well, you have to yeah, you have to look at TSB's growth plans post listing, which are to grow both mortgages and current accounts. And current accounts are critical because they would be a cheap source of funding for the net interest margin on the mortgages. You know, if you can pay sort of like 0.5% to depositors, that's great. But that kind of return makes deposits a tough market, especially if banks you know, start to fight a war of a market share. And so TSB being small has to kind of watch out there. Uh, you know, it, it has about 4% of um, deposit market share in the UK at the moment. The plan is kind of to bring that up to its share of branches, which is about 6%. But then you have to think, well, it has about 630 or so former Lloyd's branches. Uh, are they that critical to its overall business? Because it, you know, it will have to fund those as well. Mm. So, so growth plans, but then perhaps the scale merits a bit of a discount. How does it fit into the IPO market? Do you think there's some IPO fatigue, which is why they've put a bit of a discount on the share Yeah, price? we've just had Saga, which I didn't have an absolutely fantastic first day performance in its re recent IPO. But uh, one other way to look at this is, in a way, it's a government-run uh, IPO because, obviously, the UK government still has a stake in Lloyd's. It's you know, trying to sell those shares as well. Um, Lloyd's has to sell TSB in order to comply with European regulations. Um, and so does that make uh, GSB sort of cheap on that basis because they have to sell? And that's an interesting thing to consider and whether it's a government sale rather than going back to Royal Mail last year, which was also quite cheap. Well, whatever the reason, it's uh, ominous for the uh, several other smaller banks that are looking to float over the next year or two. Joseph, thanks very much.